Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gamer here. Someone asked me earlier to do a comparison between 16 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes in gaming. So, considering I got loads of time since it's the bank holiday, I thought I'd give it a go. So, what I'm gonna do is test three games that I know to use quite a lot of system memory. These games are Rise of the Tomb Raider, Ark Survival Evolved, and The Witcher 3: The Wild Hunt. After that I'll also be doing a quick rendering test with Adobe Premiere as I would expect there would be a difference as you can allocate more memory uh, depending on how much you've got to the task. So here's a quick look at my system with 16 gigabytes of memory. And here's a look at my system with 32 gigabytes of memory installed. Okay guys looking at a 16 gigabyte system setup I'm using an Intel i7 5960X running at 4.6 GHz. Memory is using 16 GB of 2666 MHz Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4. And I'm also using 1200 MHz on the core and 1953 MHz on the GTX 980 Ti, also using Windows 10 Professional Edition. Okay guys, as you can see, there's no difference between having 32 gigabytes of system memory over 16 gigabytes for gaming at this current time. But people that do buy that high capacity of memory usually are doing a bit more than gaming. So what I've done is opened a program called Adobe Premiere, and that is an editing software. Um, this software allows you to pretty much allocate all your resources um, to help with your your task. So I've got 16 gigabytes available and it allows me to allocate a maximum of 12.9 to this application alone and having 3 gigabytes reserved for other system um, applications. So what I'm going to do is uh, render this file and see how long it takes to um, complete 
in comparison to having 32 gigabytes of system memory and having more um, resources available. So I'm going to give myself, I'm going to start the rendering test at five seconds and and we'll just do the math at the end of the test. Oh, also, I'm also leaving up my task manager so you can see how much memory is actually being used by the application once rendering starts. Okay, now moving on to 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'll quickly show you how much resources I have available. So this time around I have 28.9 um, gigabytes of memory available and 3 gigabytes reserved for other applications. So I'll go ahead and give myself a 5 second start and uh, see what kind of time there is between 16 and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Okay guys, that's the end of the comparison. As you can see, there is a 23 second difference in the rendering speed over 9 minutes 27 seconds in favour of the 32 GB system. So, um, for someone who, who renders very large projects, you will see a slight advantage. Not a massive one, um, but there is a small difference. Obviously, when it comes to gaming, um, there's no difference at all currently because no game really uses more than 16 gigabytes of memory. So that's pretty much it guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.